Dude, I'm not talking to you. I'm getting this heal thing. When, whenever you get one of those, there's usually going to be a big boss fight, so we should probably drop a manual save to be safe. You know how it goes. How you doing? It's crazy. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cisplodia Whoa, is... watch out! Ah! Is that a Zoogle? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! Zaccarini, uh... Like Just keep to themselves! Less try and more fighting. Try yeah, yeah, I got The enemy is over there. Flare Tornado. Oh, Ooh, that looks cool. The tide of battle has turned. That's the power of comrades in arms. Flare Tornado. Comrades in arms. What? Flare tornado. Too sentimental. Oh, wasn't too bad, uh, other than it being kind of hard to hit. Everyone okay? I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. Kitty! Looks like it's not done leading us yet. Hmm. Step back! This one's all law! Okay. Earth seed. Zakarania. Weakens wind resistant to earth, level 23. That's some pretty high stats. A large plant type Zoogle that lives deep within Galani wood. Poison emits from its four feelers and lower body, which it uses to weaken its prey before whipping them with its appendages to finish them off. On oh, no, all, not the toughest boss we fought, but you know how it is. Hasty Steven style. Dun -dun 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 -dun.
I think you learned an aerial attack, didn't you? Yeah, Aranea Celestra, FF15 style. Did you want Blast Strike, Blast Sniper, Aranea Noobs? Noobs, noobs, noobs. Fires a paralyzing bomb. Can inflict paralysis status on enemies. Nice! It's pretty epic, man. There's I a camp. I camping out. Why are you? We shall camp and we shall like it. Understood. Should we really be lighting a campfire in the middle of a forest? You scared of starting a fire? As long as we put it out thoroughly afterwards, we'll be fine. Really, it's a good thing to have a fire here. It'll keep the Zoogles away. Have you both forgotten what we've come out here to do? Oh, let them relax, Shion. It's good to unwind every now and again. <sighs> if you say so. Reminisce. Do, 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 do. Let's cook before resting. So we got some new stuff. We got beef stew. And we got uh, that does heal HP after battle. And we got uh, what was the other thing? Omelet. That's right. Beef stew. A stew consisting of beef cooked in red wine and demi glaze sauce. One bite of the tender, savory meat makes all the preparation age time worth it. Heal HP after battle. That's nice. 10% of max HP. Let's cook this bad boy. Ooh, we, we, we can get a scene with Shion. Shion. Could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Referee. Uh, sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to chit chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. <laughs> oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lemigus. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. That's, you are now closer to Shion. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Of course she is. Oh, oh. Shady referee style. Oh, we got some. Log. Growing boy. Growing boy. Recover. When sent flying, press R2 to recover and land without being down. That's cool. He got a new title. I think that was for cooking a certain number of meals or something like that. I don't know, but... 560, 360. 360. 360. Easier over limit. Makes it easier for you to trigger over limit. Very nice. Bum, 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 bum. AG restored upon enemy defeat. That's always a good thing to have. Bum, 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 bum. Easier over limit. Very nice.
Do 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 do. Void flash. AT2 air. Oh, it's another aerial strike. Good. I need one. A hidden art that opens up a vacuum wave that makes enemies float in the air. Kudio. I'm doing pretty good. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. We got a new aerial art. Void flyish. Hello, sir. We can go back this way. Yep, and there's a chesticle! That, that'd be easy to miss if you didn't go back for it. Two beast tails. That's exciting. Bum 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 bum! How you doing, sir? Forest has never belonged to people, not in days past and not now. Only stop to rest when you're absolutely sure it's safe. Yeah, well. Settle this down. This better not all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Really? Whatever you say, I guess. Let's follow. Open sesame. What do we got in here? Hmm. Kind of looks like the quarry. Kisara's here! <laughs> you know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. <laughs> That's a brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh! It looks she... like somebody needs to be put in their place. She's got a shield. One time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. We're fighting. What the hell? Kisara. You wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn. You know that? Learned eternal de devastation. <laughs> I'll show you, you'll see. So we just learn eternal devastation. Sword strike flaming edge incineration wave. Takes two two AG. A hidden art that launches high into the air before crashing down, splitting the earth open. Cool. Oh, you have oh, oh, I can see. Not in your dreams. 
What's your deal, huh? Did Doheleen put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. <laughs> I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. The hell? I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? He's got glasses. Hello, brother. He's got a goatee, didn't you know? So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait. Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Nigal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. 
Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphan children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they used to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. Ah! What the... Is that... Is that... Metal? Not metal, but... To be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... Nothing. Matter with no physical form. Just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the hollowing. The hollowing? Hmm. The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Wh what? That can't... Miguel. When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. Hmm. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state. One that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Looks like a fig. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot, just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me, and together we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Oh, Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servants. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was. 
and Zare accomplished her mission with flying colors. Oh. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert. But with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Doholi may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. It's true. Bum, 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 bum. Nice to see you again, Kasara, says Lagil. Lagil, so you've been working with Megal all along. Hmm? You know each other, then? Yeah, you could say she and I go way back, though I haven't seen her since we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Just what are you doing in your in your little gang anyway. Exactly what Megal told you. We're trying to uncover the truth of the conspiracy plaguing Menencia and save those caught up in it. Hmm. It's funny how life turns out, huh? We used to compete for Megal's attention, only for you to get picked to join him in the guard. I used to really envy you for that. But how, but how the tables have turned. Now you're at odds with him, and I'm the one who gets to help him out. Everyone has to grow up sometimes, Lagil. Huh? Maybe so. But that doesn't mean having to turn your back on who you used to be. You've changed, Kisara. I... I heard about Megal's plan to assassinate Lord Doalim. How he ran when it failed. I searched for him to get answers, but... He never showed his face to me. You'd figure if he wasn't guilty, he wouldn't have run away. But he did, and it's because he's a coward. A coward who betrayed me and Menancia both. After all that, you expect me to just believe it's all some conspiracy and let bygones be bygones? Kisara, settle down. I understand how confused you must be, how doubtful of your brother. But we're doing all this precisely to keep that dream alive. Please, trust us on this. You've seen what sort of shape Megal's in. He won't say it, but time's running out for him. He's on borrowed time and such. Can't you put your differences aside and talk to him as siblings again like you used to? Just this once? You're right. Maybe I should. I'm sorry. I've really talked your ears off, haven't I? Must be a lot to take in all at once. You're welcome to rest here for today if you right. like. Yeah, I think I'll take you up on that. <gasps> Magal. Hmm. She's got some stuff to think about. Uh-oh. Law. Cabs of Steel. No, <laughs> He's got a bunch of titles all of a sudden. Increase max AG by one. Do -do 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 -do. It's a foot. Oh, that's for the, uh... Getting leg. Proficiency to 700, right? It's cool, man. It's cool, man. It's cool. Livestock already. 